Welcome to the Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you will be briefed on item number SCP-013. Let's go ahead and jump into it here. All right, there's a nice little picture there for you. So, item number SCP-013, object class, safe. Special containment procedures, SCP-013 are to be kept in a secure storage vault at Site-66. Exposed subjects are to be monitored for differences between their symptoms. Exposed subjects are to be interviewed daily and any changes in perception are to be logged. Description. SCP-013 is the collective designation of 242 cigarettes which display similar anomalies. The most common external detail between instances is the presence of the word Blue Lady handwritten on each cigarette in blue ink. Subjects who consume the contents of SCP-013 through inhalation will begin to perceive themselves as a specific unidentified woman. Subjects have described the woman to be aged between 25 and 35 years old, standing approximately 1.6 meters tall with an estimated weight between 50 and 55 kilograms. Additional recurring details include cropped dark hair, blue eyes, and bright blue lipstick. Immediately after consuming an instance of SCP-013, subjects will gradually begin to perceive reflections of themselves as having features of the woman, and will gradually perceive their bodies changing to reflect her appearance over the course of the following weeks. All changes are entirely mental. The subject's body does not change outwardly, only their perception of themselves. These alterations are permanent and cannot be reversed, even with amnestics or memetics. SCP-013 was discovered after the suicide of an Ian Miles, packed in a large cardboard crate in his apartment. A cursory search of the apartment uncovered several hundred sketches of a figure strongly resembling the one perceived while under 013's effect. Miles' body had been found sitting at a desk, dead of a massive overdose, and draped over a handwritten note transcribed below. During the investigation of Miles' apartment, one civilian investigator became affected by 013's effect. An embedded agent soon contacted the nearest site, the subject, the artifact, and related evidence were extracted and contained. Currently, 217 instances of SCP-013 cigarettes are contained at Biosite 66. 25 SCP-013 cigarettes are contained at Research Sector 09, pending future research into similar anomalous effects. Addendum. Below is the note which was required along with SCP-013. I see her everywhere, that sad blue lady. I feel like I used to, uh, which has been scratched, should, which has been scratched, know her, but I can't remember. I love her, but I don't know why. She's so beautiful and sweet and clear, but I don't know anymore. Her favorite flavor. Where did you go? I miss you. And that concludes this briefing. So with SCP-013, your job here is going to be to research into what makes SCP-013 anomalous. Like how it does what it does. And also how it relates to similar uh, mind-affecting and identity-consuming SCPs. Uh, with this information, we should be able to neutralize not only SCP-013, but several other SCPs as well. And with that, remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.